Some of our big stars, of course, away to the World Shot Course next week, not here, but that's given the opportunity for some of our younger swimmers to shine, uh, get themselves into finals, get themselves uh, setting national age group records and generally having a great time here at the Royal Commonwealth Pool. Yeah, we try to put this meet on in the same time frame as our normal National Short Course Championships would be. Of course, this is not that for a whole host of very good reasons and it's a closed meet for uh, Scottish swimming eligible swimmers, but giving them the opportunity to peak at the end of the short course season is always important as the season uh, unfolds and being here gives them that focus at the end of what's been a really challenging time with uh, pools and restrictions but being here at the Commonwealth Pool, minus spectators, which is a wee bit sad, but nonetheless, with all of the swimmers cheering on their teammates, uh, it's been a fantastic event. It's back to training and to a new domestic competition calendar in the four districts of Scottish swimming, uh, leading up to our snags, our National Age Group Championships in April, which are immediately the week following the British Swimming Championships, which of course serve as a a trials event for a host of different teams including the Commonwealth Games next summer in Birmingham.